Welcome to more getaways with Noel and back to exploring more of the beautiful Yorkshire Dales. Yorkshire Dales is not only a place with beautiful villages and landscapes, it's also a perfect place for outdoor activities such as hiking and walking. For today's video, please join me for a scenic walk in the countryside of Harkerside Moor in Swildale. This is a four and a half mile walk starting from the beautiful village of Wreath, then walking up to the moor of Harker side, then along the river Swale back to Wreath. Wreath is a small village located west of Richmond district of North Yorkshire. It sits on the slopes of a valley between Swildale and Arkingarthdale and makes for an ideal base to explore the two dales. Today we will take a scenic walk along one side of Swildale with tremendous views of wreath and lovely scenery along the river. Starting from Wreath Village Green, we walk over the Wreath Bridge and along the river then following the public footpath signs, pass through some fields before reaching another bridge. When out walking in the dales, you will see many footpath signs which indicate the right of way and should be followed. It is always best to take an ordinance survey map as a useful reference to ensure that you are walking in accordance with the public access. By having a map, it will save you more time and ensure your safety. Also, when driving or walking in the countryside, please be aware of the countryside code and follow the guidelines given. Always follow designated paths and leave gates as you find them. Most gates will be closed and secured to stop animals escaping, but sometimes the farmer will leave them open to allow animals access to food and water. The saying, leave only footprints, take only pictures, will help you to remember to be a respectful visitor to this lovely part of the world. Please don't have barbecues or fires as this can lead to devastating wildfires, especially when the land is dry. Our canine friends also enjoy walks in the countryside, but they should be kept under close control at all times and on the lead near animals so as to not to scare or attack them. For more information about Countryside Code, please check the link on the description below.
This is the small village of Grinton, just next to it, where St. Andrew's Church was for many years the main church of Upper Swaledale and often named the Cathedral of the Dales. Walking up through the quiet village, we reach Harkerside Moor, which as you can see is a different ecosystem to the other side of the dale. Here you will notice the lack of trees as the moorland is typified by heather and grassland. This type of habitat is characterized by having a low-growing vegetation on acidic soil and has some wildlife adapted to this kind of condition, such as birds and small mammals. You will also notice the presence of sheep freely grazing on the open moorland. One of the most dominant vegetations and characteristic features of the area is the presence of the Yorkshire purple heather that appears as a blazing carpet of purple for as far as the eyes can see. This plant species thrives well in such a harsh habitat regardless of any weather and climate conditions. You may find that some parts of the walking road can be challenging due to the ascending slope and sometimes can be tiring but don't forget to look around to enjoy the scenery to spar you on. On a long walk, it's a good idea to take some refreshments with you, particularly some water on a hot day. I always enjoy sitting in the shade of a tree and eating some lunch while enjoying the scenery. But remember to not leave any litter of food behind you before carrying on with your walk. On this part of the walking route, you will notice a large circular ditch which is known as the remains of the Maiden Castle that was built around 70 AD as a defense against the Roman invaders. Continuing down the valley, we followed the signs to join the Swale Trail alongside the River Swale. As you go down, you will notice that the habitat slowly changes to a typical riparian ecosystem and some pasture land. I enjoy this part of the walking route because of its fresher feel due to the shade from the trees and you can hear the river flowing. This is the River Swale. The river gives its name to Swaledale and it's a major tributary of the River Ure. 
The river is considered to be the fastest flowing in England and its levels can rise very rapidly. Indeed, the name is derived from the Anglo-Saxon word meaning rapid and liable to deluge. It is a very picturesque river with woodland along its banks for most of its course and is popular among residents and visitors. Following the public right-of-way, there is a slight detour from the river where you will pass through an open grassland leading to the suspension bridge. There was a suspension bridge built in 1920, however this was destroyed during a flood in 2000 when a tree hit the middle portion of the bridge. The current bridge was built in 2002 and is an almost identical copy of the original. Just a short walk from the bridge, we are back in Wraith, and it's a good place to end your long walk. There are several hotels, restaurants, pubs, and shops to check out should you need accommodation, meals, and drinks. There are also public benches around the green to sit down and enjoy the views. If you will visit Wraith, I recommend arriving at an early time to secure a parking space as it can be very busy, especially on a weekend or bank holiday. The parking is free, but when I went, there's a suggested donation of £2 for the whole day. There's a public toilet, but you have to pay small charge to use the facility. This part of the Yorkshire Dales is definitely worth spending a day for a scenic countryside walk and relax in a picturesque village. Yorkshire Dales is definitely one of the places that amazes me whatever the season is, especially in sunny day like this in summer. I hope you enjoyed this uh, short video and uh, please don't forget to share my video and subscribe for more getaways with Noel.
Oh, 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 oh,